welcome to this video that hopefully puts your mind at rest, answers a question that you may have been asking yourself quite often pertaining to is it too late to repot my orchid? In certain instances, it's never too late, but if we want to get a little bit more specific, I will elaborate using my pastoral innocence here as an example. So after having asked ourselves the question, is it too late for me to repot an orchid? We have to consider what season is the orchid in? Is it in its growing season? Is it in its resting season? Is it in its blooming season? And if it's doing all of that in one go, that is the growing season. So if you've watched previous videos of mine, you will also know that I much prefer to repot my orchids when I've got new roots growing at nubbin stage. And the only reason that is my personal preference is because I don't have to be as vigilant during the repot, during the root ball cleanup to damage root tips, to abrade root tips, to break roots that have just grown a little bit longer beyond the nubbin stage. It reduces the risk of damage and then the orchid can just grow the new roots straight into the pot and we're on our way. Sometimes, however, life gets in the way and an orchid is already way advanced in its root production phase and then we can normally say well I'll leave it until next time but what if next time is not feasible for you because you're not growing in a controlled growing environment even though the orchid may be in its growing season but you are in the midst of winter and cannot provide light temperature and heat to encourage the orchid to grow to its maximum potential during that time frame and that is my example here and that is why I'm bringing this to your attention now in case you find yourself in a similar situation, be it now or in the future. As you can see, my pastoral innocence is in active growth. As you can see, my roots are already so long. There's one thing that can make our decision process easy, and that is to look at the root system, because if we were to damage any roots that have already grown to a specific length, does the root system branch? And if it is a branching root system, the length of the new roots that are already established won't make a difference at all. They actually work to our advantage in this case, because a long new root will branch if broken. Emphasis being on long. If a root has grown, let's say, to five centimeters and you think, well, it's a branching root system. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to clean up this orchid. I have a branching root system and the new roots being five centimeters long works to my advantage because they are going to branch. Let me tell you, stop. Do not repot when the new roots are only five centimeters long. That is not the length at which they will branch. If you've missed the window of opportunity to repot when the roots are at nubbin stage, you're going to have to be patient and let the roots grow even longer, at least double that to 10 centimeters to allow the characteristics of a branching root system to kick in. A new root that is shorter than that will not branch. So this is where you kind of don't have to rush into it. You've just missed the nubbin stage repot opportunity. Now you just have to be a little bit more patient, but watch the orchid and watch how long the roots get so that you can take advantage of the branching root system characteristics to work in your favor if you break a long new root. And in my case, when I lost the window of opportunity at the nubbin stage to clean up this root ball, I had to wait another five to six weeks to get to this point. And here we are with some very, very long new roots. Now, if I had had the opportunity to go in three weeks ago, I would have done so. I didn't have the opportunity, but we're going to be repotting this orchid in a separate video because needs must. She is in active growth, not just because of the new growth. I am in my summer season. That means my temperatures are warm for her. The light levels are high enough for her. I cannot wait for her to do this during the winter should she do it because my indoor setup is not set up in such a way that I can heat and extend any kind of day length to give this orchid the light levels she needs to produce what she has to do during the winter. Now, I don't see a lot of branching on my root system here because everything is just long and extended. I don't see any branching at all. But you can see how shriveled the pseudobulbs are. Something is going on in the pot. She has been in here for two years. We need to get oxygen in there. And it is possible with the oxygen exchange re-established in the pot, the roots will branch after we have cleaned up that root ball. So, in principle, as a rule of thumb, if you've missed the opportunity to repot your orchid while the roots were in nubbin stage, 
you will have to wait until the new roots are long enough so that the orchid will still benefit from active root growth by branching an already long root. Do not repot if the root is five centimeters long or less, because if that root were to break, it will not branch. I really hope that this was helpful. I hope that it somewhat answered your question and then also gave you the confidence to allow life to get in the way for another three to four weeks before actually cleaning your orchid up without feeling as though you're going to do a lot of damage. And if you like, once the repot video of this orchid airs, it will be linked in the description. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you have any further questions, the comments are there for a reason. Let's get into specifics down there. And in the meantime, I wish you a beautiful day. On one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.